Hi guys, how's it going? Ivano here with another video in our introduction to PvP series and today we're going to be talking about keybinding. So if you watched the last videos in the series then now you can target stuff and you have learned how to basically move your character using the mouse instead of turning with the keyboard. So next up we are going to be learning how to best use our abilities in order to fight the enemies. But we have a little problem. Since we are going to be using our mouse to move the character, obviously we cannot use the mouse at the same time to click these abilities. So instead of clicking the abilities on the bar, what we want to do is we want to use keybinds in order to activate the abilities. So if you're new to the game, your interface probably is going to look something like this. And actually your main quick bar, which is this thing down here, already comes with a bunch of key bindings pre-filled. So this would be the keys 1 to 0 um, and then some plus or minus keys at the end here that you can use to map your abilities in order to activate them. So let's say I want to go over and fight these uh, Chlor Slug Foragers over here. I'll just uh, move my character forward with the mouse and then I'll hit one on the keyboard, jump to them, one shot this guy, click two, hit this guy. This is the best way to activate the abilities. Way faster than using my mouse to go over here, then use the mouse to click the stuff. And while I'm doing this, I cannot move my character, right? So I would have to go back to moving it with the, with the keyboard and potentially turning it with the keyboard. And that's just slower and not, uh, not efficient at all. So um, in the beginning, maybe that's also why a lot of a lot of players start out as, as clickers. Um, you can kind of get away with it, but if you want to play PvP at a higher level in this game, then definitely you need to be able to do multiple things at the same time. You need to be able to pop your cooldowns on power attack and spam shoulder cannons while you're still moving the character with the mouse and activating defensive cooldowns at the same time. And all of this with clicking is just going to be chaotic. You're going to make mistakes no matter how good you are with the mouse. So it's just much more efficient to already when you're starting out learning to set up these basic keybinds. If right now you're already a clicker and you've gotten used to it over many years of playing, I still think it's it's worth to learning how to keybind. Um, and where would I start? I would start with the most important abilities. So I typically set my keybinds up in a way that one to five are the main abilities that I'm going to be using in my rotation, if you want to call it like that, or my priority for playing the character. Um, and you can also set them up in a way that makes sense, right? So usually if I'm a Juggernaut, I want to start the fight by jumping in. So that would be on the one key. From there, then I want to go, I want to build some rage. That could be the two key, Assault. And then from then I want to spend my rage. So my big damage abilities are going to be here. This is a nice setup, for example, for learning. You can simply jump in, keep moving, and then smash this guy. So I would recommend that the keys that your hand can reach the easiest... Um, in my case, it would be 1 to 5, and then maybe Q, E, and R would be the skills that you're going to be using the most frequently. If you have an MMO mouse, you can also map your abilities to the extra buttons that these mice typically come with. A lot of players are doing that. I myself use it sparingly, I would say. I'm not a fan of the big mice with 30 buttons, but you can use it. It's especially useful for off-GCD abilities, such as your defensive cooldowns that you can activate in between your normal rotational abilities. So if you want to change any of these keybinds, of course, you're going to go to preferences, you're going to go on key bindings, you're going to go to quick bar and find the quick bar. In my case, I only have one quick bar since I'm just starting out on this character. We're going to be talking about how to set up the UI or the interface a little bit later in another video. But for now, let's say I don't like smash on five. I want to have my AOE ability on the F key, for example. I'll simply go here. I press the F key and once I apply it and close it, now smash will be triggered by the F button. Once you're leveling up your character and you're getting more and more abilities, you can add additional quick bars and drop the abilities into it. And at some point you might be running out of simple keybinds. Uh, the alphabet only has so many letters and uh, keys such as seven, eight, nine, and zero might be kind of hard to reach unless you have freakishly large hands. So I would recommend to start using modifiers. What's a modifier? It's very simple. You can bind an ability to Q and then bind another ability to Alt plus Q. So if you activate those two buttons at the same time, you will trigger this ability up here. Right now, I don't have it mapped, but let's say I want to use Thermal Yield on Alt Q. I can use it like this. And now an advantage of this combination, for example, is if I want to jump in, I want to start fighting my enemy over here. Um, I'm going to be jumping in, and at the same time, after Q, I will hit Alt Q, which is actually a quite easy combination to click quickly in a row. I jump in and immediately I'm using this in between. So Alt Q and Q is kind of a nice combination, which is easy to click in succession. And yeah, using these modifiers like Alt, uh, Control, for some players also Shift, 
depends a little bit on how flexible you are and which uh, which fingers you are a little bit more dexterous at using. Um, then you can combine your keybinds and basically uh, double or triple the amounts of, of keybinds you have available by simply combining them with Alt or Shift or Control. Once you get to max level, you're going to have a lot of abilities and your quick bars might be kind of full. So for me, in order to learn and remember the keybinds more easily, what I do is I kind of have a, have a system of how I set it up. So for example, like I already said, uh, one to five would typically be my main rotational abilities that I use very frequently. Um, and then all of the modifiers with Alt-1, Alt-2, Alt-3, and sometimes even Alt-4 and Alt-5 would be crowd control abilities. So that's where I will have my hearts done. That's where I have my, my carbonize and even my grenades will be on these Alt modifiers. My defensive cooldowns will typically also be on Alt modifiers. So you can see Alt-D would be my energy shield. Um, Alt-R would be Kolto. So that kind of helps me just uh, remembering and kind of compartmentalizing these skills and kind of putting them into a box. So that's one thing I do. Another little trick that you can do to better remember keybinds is to um, use a key that has the same letter as the starting letter of an ability. So one example of this would be when I play Sentinel, then I would map Transcendence always on T just to remember it easier. Or for example, Alt-D, the D for me stands for defense. So I always have a defensive ability map to Alt-D. Alt-E, for example, would be an escape skill. So E stands for escape and helps me remember this more easy. And then finally, the last thing I do is um, I will always have similar abilities on different characters on the same keybind. So for example, my Q button would always be a mobility ability. So it can be the jet charge, my leap on the power tech. And then when I play Juggernaut, Q will also be my force charge ability. So it just makes it really natural and makes the keybind feel really easy to remember. You don't really have to think about what it does. You just click, click Q and it will give you a mobility skill, basically. Also, all characters share uh, a CC breaker in this game. So for the power tech, it's called Determination. And I always use Alt-C as the keybind for that, for example. Since all characters work the same here, just reuse the same keybind will help you remember that more easily. Yeah, and these are little things you can do that hopefully help you uh, learn the keybinds a little bit easier and just remember them. Um, again, if you're new to this, I would recommend you start with one, maybe even you know two or three, depending on how good it goes with your main abilities. Um, you can start by clicking the rest. Uh, that's, that's fine for the beginning. And then just once you are kind of gotten used to, let's say the one, two, four, five rotation, slowly, let's say, add one keybind a day and try to remember that using it in a fight while there's a lot of other things going on. Final tip for keybinding, you can import and export your keybinds. So if you're changing servers, if you want to play on the PTS, or you simply have, you know, three, four power tags like me because you're bored and don't know what else to do in the game anymore, um, what you can do is you can uh, save your current keybinds that you have right now set up on this character, um, give it the name, save it here and then later if you're on another character and you want to transfer the settings over simply go here click on the keywords you want to use and click on apply that's it for today let me know how it goes and if this video helped you with learning how to keybind also let me know in the comments if you would like to see something else some other content what would be interesting for you and of course as always if you like this video please remember to leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys tomorrow